Hey guys, Bryce360 here. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about the new Xbox One experience. Um, I get a lot of questions on why they haven't got the experience and I actually received it. So I'm going to kind of go over this in a separate video so I don't have to kind of mention it every single time because I've gotten quite a few, you know, questions regarding this. So um, anybody that is in the preview existingly, you know, and they've, they've actually participated and done surveys and quests, um, you're ranked on that. You get a high level rank. Let's say that I'm currently a level 18, which I am, and my points are about 1,500. They base their rollout on waves, and those waves are based on how much you've participated in the original preview. So if you had just joined and maybe you'd have been enrolled for a few months, maybe like three months, or maybe you've been enrolled a long time, but you haven't actually participated in those surveys, and maybe your score or your points are only a few hundred points, then that's probably why you haven't received it yet. It just, they are rolling them out in waves and they want more, of, they're giving people them early, the ones that actually put more involvement into it, and then they'll get much more feedback. So that way they can get this out and in a better condition or can stay, you know, while it's out. So I'm going to read through this real quick. It says, <clears throat> I've been opted into the new Xbox One preview. When will I get the new update? This update will roll out in waves, starting with a small number of invites, invited users who had strong participation in the program and expanding to large numbers over users over time. So eventually it will grow um, and they'll send them out in bigger waves, which I suspect since this is coming out in like November-ish, that these will, this will happen fairly soon. Uh, the update will not be rolled out to everyone at the same time, which we know this. New builds will regularly roll out over a period of several weeks to those who opt in and our engineering team will work to improve the features and fix any bugs that identified throughout the preview testing um so you will get this soon and i would say like just feel glad you don't have to deal with the initial bugs i know it's very exciting to get this but a lot of stuff is already starting to change so and it will continue to and you'll get a more finalized version and you'll still get it before it's actually the official launch what should i do if i want to stop participating i'm not going to go over that if you want to not be in the preview then you obviously wouldn't be asking about it so um i just yeah i wanted to really make a quick video about this um you know, I'll answer as many questions as you like. Basically, it boils down to, you know, if you were in the preview initially and you didn't involve yourself by doing their surveys and stuff in the preview app and their, their quest and you have low score, then you're probably not going to get it right away. I mean, that's just how it goes. And it's, it's, you might think it's unfair, but it's really not. I mean, it's, you know, a lot of people put their time and effort. They, they don't want to do this. They don't want somebody just to get into the preview early just to check out the cool stuff. That's not what they're using it for. They're, get, they're using it so that way when it officially launches, it's going to be a great experience for the people that don't really care about beta testing. That's the point of these beta tests. So, um, all right, guys. Well, I just wanted to come out with this video. If um, you do have any questions, you know, leave a comment. I'll be glad to answer it. Um, but please watch the entire video. Don't ask me the same question you know, if I just answered it in the video. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching.